Hello, dreamers. My name's Michelle, and I am Coach Mark's baby sister. He's 11 years older than me. Um, and I just wanted to share a little bit of a story about me and growing up and swimming. Um, I was able to join a swim team when I was about five years old. Um, it, it was at a little local neighborhood pool, and that's really where I grew up. Um, every summer, my days would be filled with uh, getting up and going to swim team practice. I would walk down the street to down the hills, a couple hills in Penn Hills, to uh, swim team practice, and uh, I would then walk back up the hills after swim team practice, come home, do my chores for a little bit, and then I would go back to the pool and hang out all day at the pool with friends or cousins um, and swim all day. If it was rainy, didn't matter. As long as the pool was open, I was pretty much there. Come home for dinner, walk up the hills again <laughs> to... to uh, have dinner and then even sometimes go back at night or some nights would be swim meets um, and then sometimes I even slept in my bathing suit <laughs> and would uh, start the whole day again the next morning and those days that I slept in my bathing suit I didn't have to put it on in the morning first thing but um, my hair used to be like blonde and shiny and, and very chlorine -y and get green um, I could, I could stick pokes like the Statue of Liberty out of when my head was wet um, because my hair was so chlorine -y because I was in the water all the time. Anyway, it was a fun way to grow up. But the swim team thing, um, so there was, there's Mark, he's the oldest in our family, and then I have three other older sisters, um, and they were, they were all swimmers. Mark swam I think a little bit but he was a lot older than me so I don't <laughs> remember him swimming as much as um, my sisters but it was a big deal uh, to watch them at swim meets and stuff and that's why I wanted to do that whenever whenever I grew up so I was on the swim team like I said every summer since maybe I was five years old and um, then it be came to the last year I could be on this team. I think I was probably, I can't remember if I if you were allowed to be 17 or 18, but anyway, it was around the last year of high school. And so all of my hard work, I was a pretty good swimmer, not the best, but I, I really liked working hard. I liked to be known as a hard worker. Um, even if I wasn't the fastest, I knew that I maybe was the one who was trying to work the hardest and um, on the summer team as well as um, in the high school swim team when when I got to do that in, in high school but anyway um, so summer swimming was always a lot more fun it was just like our team our little home local neighborhood pool team against another team um, and so some of those kids were kids that we went to school with so there was a little bit of friendly competition there but the meets went fast they weren't long events and uh, they were outside and it was just uh, those summer swim meets were were always a good time um, and you didn't have to be the best swimmer really because the you know the longest you did was maybe down and back that's called a 50 where you um, yeah, you go down, do a flip turn, and then you come back. And so it's a sprint. So it's like running, you know, 50-yard dash, that kind of thing. So as long as you were fast and you did the race perfectly, uh, you had a good chance at, uh, at doing well, even if you weren't, like, the strongest um, or, or the swimmer with the most endurance. But anyway, um, it was my final championship meet of my last year of summer swimming and I was so nervous and worked up and excited and everything my all my years of swimming culminating to this event and it's the 50 yard freestyle for the senior girls and I might be seated first or second because um, I was a lot better 
uh, comparatively with summer swimmers than the high school swimmers were. Uh, yeah, there were girls who were good from all over Pittsburgh, but um, for summer swimming with my, with our little town, I, I was up there, and um, anyway, he said, swimmers, take your mark, and I false started, and I think that was the year that it became a new rule in swimming where you got one false start. If you false started, then you were out, and so that was it. I blew it. I was like, that was the culmination of everything. I was got so worked up that uh, I didn't even get to swim that event. I think I got to swim some relays, um, and that was fun. But it was kind of a stupid thing that I did. Um, so anyway, I don't know if there's a lesson except for uh, play it safe a little bit on things that you can control. Um, whenever you're you have that big opportunity or chance and I don't know if I just I was going for best time or if I just wanted to win or what it was but uh, I didn't even get to to prove anything to myself at that particular moment so that's what I remember about summer swimming <laughs> and growing up swimming except for I have way more fond memories of of it than just blowing it in my last race. Bye.